Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn about address management system where we will be pre-filling all the addresses. In my previous video, I have explained how to validate our addresses and add address, remove address and now we are targeting for the pre-filling the address. Why we came up with pre-filling the address? For example, in a situation you are getting some list of addresses from the back end and you want to show in the front end like already these are the addresses which we have in the back end. So such type of strategies is called as a pre-fill addresses. For now we are not using any back end API services. So what I'll do just I'll try to hard code a few of the addresses and based on that we will be rendering our UI. For the better understanding let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. So here already we have developed all these uh, add methods and the delete as well as the validation methods in our Angular applications. Let me demonstrate that first. So you can see we have enter name and on clicking on this and clicking aside we have a validation error and by filling the proper data into this I can add the address and here also I can validate the street name and the state name and the landmark. Landmark is not having any validations so for that say it is not showing any validations now let me fill these values and uh, and uh, let me go to the inspect so go to the console and if you go to the console and click on the submit you can get the values inside your array okay this is the values which we are getting array and we, we didn't fill the landmark so we are getting in this way so now what my target is for example, these are the addresses which are saved in the backend and if we are getting back how to show in the UI. For example, on the load of this page, I am getting some data and I want to show all the addresses here. So that is the target for this video. We'll be trying to do all that by using patch value over a form group. So already we have a form and already we have some data something like this. So let me enable this and now let me give some name. This is our structure which we discussed in the first video of this address management system whenever we are creating the reactive form. The same structure I am using sai at the rate gmail.com this is my name and we have something like an ID let me pass this ID as 1 and city 1 and state 1 and street 1 and we have something like landmark. These are my details which are in my first address form. Let me copy this and replicate this here. Let me make it this ID as 2 and let me mark it as 2, 2 and 2. Let me save this and let me remove this landmark. Let me assume that we don't have any landmark for the second address. So in this case, in general, what we usually do is we will be creating our form and then we'll be patching our values with this particular object. So let me write the same stuff this dot register address dot patch value of my object this dot obj so now i passed pa patch value for this and we have an object let me save this go here and if you see here the name and the email are getting filled but it is not filling the addresses because we have two addresses the two address has to be rendered here why it is not doing that let's understand whenever our application is loaded we'll be going into the constructor and inside the constructor we are creating a register form and this register form have an address where it is having empty fields that means it is assuming that it doesn't have any fields and whenever there is no fields inside this address I'm not able to patch the value for that particular addresses whereas we have name and email which are already existing in my form and then I am able to assign or give these values for that sake how we will be resolving so let's assume we have an object inside this object we have something like two addresses that means inside these addresses also we should have two addresses which are like default addresses so let me do that this dot obj dot addresses is an array and we can use something like for each and inside this for each I have a callback function and will be getting an object so I don't care about the object for now so what I can do just like this dot add address so already we have add address logic let me demonstrate that so in this add address what we are doing just we are pushing the default addresses that means empty addresses you can see here we have all the ID city name state name street name and landmark so now I want to override this default values with my patch values already we are executing this logic and then we are patching our values so after executing this logic I'll have two addresses in my 
particular form because it is looping for the two times and that two values will be assigned to this address as array and after that we will be overriding the default values with the values which we got from the obj let me save this and go back if you see here we have all pre-filled values and we can also add one more address that will be a new address which are not getting from the back end but we have already one and two and three so now what we understood so whenever you are patching the values for an array make sure that number of objects inside that particular array should exist in your form to exist in that form create a default forms and then after creating the default forms give a patch value I have explained about patch value and the set value in my previous videos in this reactive form series. Please watch that if you have any doubts. Hope you like my explanation. If you like my video, like, share, subscribe to my channel for more updates. Signing off. Thank you.